There's nothing like it anywhere else in the world. So Rally Bar Base is huge. Everybody's so friendly. For me, the rally is just fantastic. There is not a feeling like it. Best rally in the world, I always call it. Never seen anything like it in my life. Rally Barbados has got to be the greatest rally in the Caribbean. It's the greatest motorsport sport event on this side of the world. One gentleman actually said, a Scotsman, business is down where he is now. Whatever business it is, he's in. But all he has to do is to shut his eyes and think of Seoul Rally 2012 in Barbados, and he's heartened. From small beginnings in 1990 is the international all-stage rally. The Barbados Rally Club's premier event has evolved into the Caribbean's biggest annual motorsport international. Since 2008, it has been known as Seoul Rally Barbados, with title sponsorship from the region's largest independent oil company, the Seoul Group, which has its headquarters in the island. The signing of an initial three-year agreement with Seoul enabled the Rally Club to plan further ahead and with more confidence than previously. By 2011, when a second three-year contract kicked in, it was already clear that the key target of securing a sustainable future for the event was well in hand. Sol Rally Barbados was bucking the trend of international rallying with record entries year on year despite the worldwide recession. In the early 1990s, the event had attracted a total of around 30 local cars with the occasional overseas visitor. These days, it attracts more than 30 overseas entries alone contributing to a total lineup approaching 100 crews. It is no longer simply the highlight of the annual motorsport calendar, but a national event in Barbados, and a key player in the island's vital sports tourism product. So I think this is a huge uh, event on our calendar something that we look forward to every year and obviously want to see it grow and um, you know when you look at the exposure which the uh, destination gets I mean we couldn't pay for it as a standalone sort of situation so I think it's tremendous for the country really. Well you've got something really special here you've got the weather but you've got such a social event that, that anywhere in Ireland or England we don't have that. You, we, we do a rally, we finish the rally, we may win the rally and then we go home. Here, whether you win, whether you lose, you have a good time after the rally, and that's what it's all about, a social event. We enjoy it, just that's top and bottom of it, you know, it encompasses a great holiday in a, in a lovely location with some motorsport, which of course we enjoy, so it does everything, ticks all the boxes, you know. When I can understand and learn that you have over 400 participants coming into Barbados at this time of the tourism season, you know, at a, a period where most accommodations would be on a downward spiral. When you look and you see the families that have come to Barbados, you are impressed. Well, I live in a small town called Penrith where it rains 300 days a year, so I look up at that little yellow thing shining down and that's a big attraction. Oh, and the beer's a bit cheaper here as well. I'm trying to encourage many people in England, you know, if you, if you do one rally, put, put this one on the one to do. You know, I think, I think that's become a bit of a motto for the Rally Barbados now, you know. So, no, I love it, I love it. And we're just going to keep coming back. Roger the Sheriff Skeet was there at the start. He won the inaugural event in 1990 and has racked up a record 12 wins. Now sponsored by Sol, he has followed the event's development with interest. With a big sponsor like Sol coming on board and raising the level of everything connected to the rally, both from a marketing and a PR standpoint, as well as the expectations of everyone surrounding the event, competitors, spectators, everyone, and sponsors. It, it has just raised the whole level of this event to the point where there is a much more professional approach to things now. And it really has done credit to the, to the island and the event tremendously. And it obviously is allowing for media and everyone else surrounding it to uh, participate and put this island on the map. New to the Seoul team for 2013, rising local star Neil Armstrong is also well aware of the rally's international impact. Seoul Rally Barbados is huge. It is absolutely a massive event. We have people from all over the world. I mean, in the highest level, the WRC class, there are engineers coming from all over the world. Um, it, is, it is mega. There's no one in the rallying world that doesn't know that Rally Barbados is going on this weekend. Uh, I think practically the whole island is out watching it. So it's a, it's a huge event, massive event. 
Zero car driver and former class winner Jonathan Still enjoys one of the best seats in the house. Especially in car zero, we, we tend to go a little slower than everybody else and we can see the crowds and it's been humongous. If you see the, the, the people lined up on the hills, there are actually people who are now putting their vehicles up further back on hills just so they can see and camping out for the morning before. It's actually pretty incredible to see the Saul Rally Bar this now. For one of the island's renowned crowd pleasers, Trevor Micey Manning, it's the thousands of spectators that drive him on. This whole concept of Rally Bar bit is where people just line the roads and you're driving, you know, you're just seeing all the people out there and there's nothing like it anywhere else in the world and it gives you that feeling that, you know, you just want to get to the next stage and just enjoy it. Double winner Paul Bourne is another who draws encouragement from the strength of the spectator turnout. The, the event has actually inspired people so much, you know, it creates an, an energy that is, is, is unique and has its identity with the rally, you know, and people are all, I mean, people were camping out all last night. You don't do that without something to, to be inside of you, a fire to burn to, to make you want to do that, you know. I mean, there, there are thousands of people out there on stages right now just waiting for this event to start, you know. What I think is great, um, it's a very popular event for not only Barbadians, but uh, persons who come into Barbados from different parts of the world. Uh, it is uh, very neatly placed within our sports tourism calendar and uh, I believe that um, it continues to grow every year so hence my presence all the time to make sure that I can give it my support. From a rallying perspective, all did not go entirely to plan for sole teammates Skeet and Armstrong in the island's premier event. Although they would fight back over the two days to finish as the highest placed local crews, third and fourth overall. But at least they fared better than Bourne, who didn't even make the start after a nightmare week of technical issues with his Ford Focus WRC 07. And British regular Steve Perez in a similar focus. His clutch caught fire on stage one, burning out vital wiring, although diligent work by his service crew saw the car repaired by the end of the day, so at least he made it out for Sunday's stages. Having won the previous weekend's Scotiabank King of the Hill, Armstrong was seeded at number one for his first Rally Barbados at the wheel of the Suzuki SX4 WRC. A misfire on the day's very first stage, however, was followed by a puncture and some braking issues which left him playing catch-up. Skeet, meanwhile, encountered launch control problems in his Subaru Impreza WRCS12 on three of the day's stages. Despite two fastest stage times when things were running smoothly, this had cost him valuable time. While last year's winner, former UK National Rally Champion Paul Bird, was forging ahead in his Focus WRC 08. With seven of ten stage wins on the opening day, Birdie enjoyed a 28 second overnight lead. With Jamaica's Jeff Panton, third last year, his closest challenger in his older Focus WRC 06. Another former winner in Barbados, albeit not for 15 years, Panton was the other stage winner on day one. As Sol Rally Barbados moved from the tighter technical stages in the north to the faster flowing stages in the island's southeast corner for Sunday, so the weather moved in to play its part. Some drivers were unwilling to push as hard as they might to avoid falling foul of any sudden changes in road conditions, and there were enough of those during the day. Bird's lead was never seriously challenged, as he seemed to find just that little bit extra when it was necessary. Having lost a few seconds to Panton early in the day, he punched in another three fastest times around the lunch break, giving the Jamaican a 33 second gap to take a charge out. Charge Panton did, but it wasn't enough, despite five wins in the day's 11 stages. Bird's winning margin was 24 seconds, the largest since 2005, with Panton's second place consolidating his reputation as the most successful driver across the region's big three. He remains the only one to have won on tarmac in the Barbados and on the loose in both Jamaica and Trinidad, with a raft of podium finishes to boot. Behind the tussle for overall supremacy, there were two other battles to consider. The WRC class is now split into two, cars built before 2004 running in WRC 2. 
and local Toyota dealer Roger Hill faced a tough but enjoyable challenge in his Corolla WC. His mission, should he choose to accept it, and he did, was to fend off the two-pronged attack of former UK champion Roger Duckworth in his Impreza S6 and Kevin Proctor in the S7 he has not driven in the island since 2009. All was good for Hill on Saturday. Proctor looked set to retire early on, having dropped to 26th on stage one, until the cause of his anti-lag issues was identified, while Duckworth had been delayed by an off. Hill admits that he could have gone faster on the last couple of stages run in darkness, and then Sunday's weather did not help his cause either. A determined charge from Duckworth, fastest on eight of the day's 11 stages, carried him past Hill for the class win, and to fifth overall. Proctor entered the weekend seventh. Many of the participants from Europe have returned time and again. More than 20 have competed at least five times, while popular British BMW driver Martin Stockdale is the event's most loyal supporter with 13 consecutive visits to his credit. It's, it's nice to be home almost, you know, my second home almost every year now for 13 years, so yeah, it's great to be back. While individual competitors each have their own reasons for returning so often, there are some common themes. From a motorsport perspective, the level of competition is high on the list, but beyond that, the recurring themes include the friendliness of Ireland fans and the chance to go rallying in a more social atmosphere than back home in Europe. Well, I said it this year, and I don't mean to, uh, you know, to exaggerate, but I feel I'm home in my rally, and I feel this is it, because back home in Britain, we're clubman racers, we always will be, and we're just not getting the, the, the not so much respect, but we're not, it just seems to be an attitude problem, and, and it's never ending, so we come out here, and yeah, listen, there's there strict rules to abide to, and we have no problem with that, and uh, but you know, I, I do feel in as far as rallying goes, I'm, I'm home. Well, obviously it's a great place, the weather's fantastic. Uh, it's, uh, the main thing is friendly people. There's really lots of really, really friendly people. Everybody, everybody helps you. It's like, yeah, it's like coming to a WRC, coming to Rally Barbados. Yeah, everybody's interested in the rally. You go to the supermarket and people see your hat and start asking you about the rally and what, you know, what you're doing, who you are. I mean, I'm fairly well known here now, uh, but it's, uh, it, it's, it's a whole enthusiasm, really. You locals are so friendly. Everybody's so friendly, mate. You're so welcome. You know, as soon as people know that you're here for the rally, they want to know all about the car and everything else. It's, you know, it's unbelievable. It's just something different, really. If, um, I spent such a lot of time away with my, my motorcycle team throughout the year. It's just a, a different off the wall event for me. And you're also very welcome. And, you know, keep coming back. The competition's good. It's just a different rally. And, it's just like a bit of an adventure as well. Yeah, I've done a lot of rallies all over the all over the world and um, championships, and, but this rally is so competitive, you know. And I know the stages are short, but that just adds an extra spice to it, you know. So you you, you have to be 110 percent from the first stage, you know. And, and it's just it's just fantastic. I, I love it. The first time I came here, I was like, we're definitely coming back. We came just to dip our toe in the water one year. With a, we bought a fairly old car and. Um, it was just for me. We're back there next year, and that's now. It's, it's on our. It's the first calendar one that goes on our calendar every year now. You know, it's like Rally Barbados has got to be the one to do. The top ten on Sunday evening was completed by the three drivers who had battled for two-wheel drive supremacy throughout the weekend. It's an awesome event. Can't beat it. It gets better and better every year. The, the um, excitement that it brings is something that I've never experienced before. I've done a lot of rallying elsewhere, UK, Trinidad, Jamaica, and this is special. Every year it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and better and better. And every year the rally club is just outdoing themselves. And I, I mean, like I, I can't even begin to think of where they're going to go next year, <laughs> you know, to make it even better than this. Um, but the event on a whole is just awesome. Um, the stages this year are really, really good. Um, and yeah, just in a whole event, it's really good. Seeing some guys here who you know you're watching on TV and think I'm not here to compete with us is really an eye opener, you know, and it puts things in perspective to know that our little island can get uh, can get that sort of um, competition down here. So it's great. 
Dominant in the early part of the season, Josh Reed was fastest on Saturday's first two stages in his Toyota Starlet to take an early lead. Ian Warren fought back during the day in the Suzuki Swift, swapping times with Reed to head the two-wheel drive battle overnight. Sixth overall and seven seconds up on Reed. Roger Mayers had topped the two-wheel drive runs at Scotiabank King of the Hill in his WR Starlet, but was in the wars on Saturday. After losing time to a fuel pump problem, he then accidentally hit the kill switch, losing time in Sailor Gully, so entered the day fourth in two-wheel drive, 28 seconds behind Warren, with Brian Gill's BMW M3 in an unexpected third place. The battle continued into Sunday, Mayers claiming the first of his four stage wins on the day's opening test. Occasional showers, however, meant the battling trio each had to tread carefully at some point during the day. Warren claimed three more stage wins to finish eighth and win Super Modified 10, repeating his last overall finish of 2010. Reed made eight stage wins over the weekend, finishing ninth, nine seconds behind Warren. Despite his best efforts, the overnight deficit was too great, and Mayers finished tenth, another 16 seconds adrift. Once again, Sol Rally Barbados had provided a weekend of close fought and unpredictable competition. With 95 cars competing in 16 different classes, almost every driver in the field had something to fight for. And all but two of those classes saw local drivers pit their wits against overseas competitors. Sol Rally Barbados, however, is not simply about motorsport. Working with government through the Barbados Tourism Authority and with NGOs such as the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association and the Tourism Development Corporation, the Barbados Rally Club has grown the event into a key date on the island sports tourism calendar. Targeted promotions in the UK and Ireland have resulted in an exponential growth in international competitors. Of the 65 overseas drivers or co-drivers who participated for the first time in the past three years, nearly half were from Ireland where rallying is part of the culture, much like Barbados. And they were followed across the Atlantic by nearly 30 fans on the first ever tailor-made group trip for rally spectators. Uh, we have a, a brilliant overseas entry, uh, you know, over 30 cars. Uh, we have a fantastic entry from Ireland, uh, 14 cars, which is uh, an area we were looking to develop. Uh, we have our first entry from the United States of America, uh, which is a market that we've been looking at for quite some time. Um, you know, we, we obviously have tremendous uh, support, corporate support, um, you know, both from, uh, you know, corporate Barbados, uh, NGOs, the government itself, uh, and, uh, you know, they continue to allow us to develop, improve, grow, um, you know, what, what is Saw Rally Barbados today. And, um, you know, our, our goal really is to continue that slow progression long term. Uh, we need to make sure it, it is sustainable. Uh, we don't want to do anything that's too different. Uh, but keep, uh, you know, a slow improvement, and uh, so far, so good. So are you all coming back next year? Yes! Yeah. And what about the spectators? We love it, coming every year, 15 years now straight. So Sorry, Rally Barbados. Barbados. exciting to the world. Uh, Saul has done a really good job for Rally Barbados. It's really grown, especially for internationals. And, um, you know, it's, it's growing from strength to strength every year from what we see and hopefully it continues. Well, I've, I've, I've never really seen it because you just whiz past. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's great fun. At least, son, it's good for my time. <laughs> Everybody just enjoying itself, and we would do Soul Rally till we dead. I come all the way from New York to watch Soul Rally Barbies. Yeah, I come all the way from St. James. <laughs> <laughs> I love the atmosphere, the people, the girls especially. This is about 15 years of tradition, us as a group coming together for the rally, having a little fun, some drinks, some food, good time. I like the atmosphere, I like the people. So Rally Barbers is the best thing ever to man. This is gratifying for us. I mean, we've spent months putting this together because we really want to give back to the fans and to the drivers who come here every year. We put an amazing show on this year. We've worked with the rally club and the results today are overwhelming for us. We've seen the fans come out, we've seen the drivers putting on a good show for the spectators. 
We encourage persons to be safe and we realize persons are taking us seriously this year and that's very important for us. But for us at SOL, most importantly, we're glad that we're able to touch the lives of so many persons. Even though it's motorsport, we're able to bring good friendships together. The appeal of the event is well known to the Barbados Tourism Authority. I think as a little destination, we can feel proud that we are holding a world-class event and uh, we're able to attract all of these participants from across the globe, really. And like I said before, it's something that I think we have to work, treasure and work on in developing. The annual influx of participants, friends and family injects around four million Barbados dollars into the island's economy, much of it in valuable foreign exchange, and accounts for nearly 4,000 visitor nights at a traditionally quiet time in the tourism calendar. Many also return out of rally season for family holidays, even weddings, and two have purchased holiday homes in the island within the past 12 months. This consistent support from international competitors has helped the rally club build worldwide television coverage to record-breaking heights. Now on his third visit, British production company Greenlight TV's Richard Nichols has become an ardent fan. We're doing a, kind of a world feed for the organisers, so we'll be sending this to around 600 million homes in the world. It goes everywhere. You need to be an Eskimo to miss this. This contribution to the island's economy has been welcomed by the Honourable Stephen Lashley, Minister of Sport, and Senator Irene Sandiford Garner, Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism and International Transport. Both were on hand to enjoy the action on day one of the rally in the Barbados Rally Club's VIP experience at Luke Hill. Well, it makes us feel very encouraged because, of course, um, we believe, certainly as Minister of Sports, I believe that this industry, along with culture, is one of the major planks upon which we can uh, further diversify our economy. Uh, we already have the necessary interests and the infrastructure, of course, continues to improve. So I believe that we are on the right path and when this happens, it, enc it certainly encourages me. Barbados now is no longer just a sun, sea and sand destination. It is a sports tourism destination, but it's also a destination where the experience stays with people long after the event is done. And that is something that we need now to be aware of. The, the people of Barbados, I understand they had pigs on, on grills um, one night this week for the participants. They were taken to, to, to um, Oystens. But the Barbadian culture has been a part of Soul Rally 2013. And I think that's marvelous because you don't have to just sell the physical. You sell the interrelationship between people. You sell our people. And that is important because we have a gem of a product in this country and we have to take care of it and also ensure that it stays that way. The Barbados Rally Club, which organises Sol Rally Barbados, celebrated its 50th anniversary in 2007, since when its premier event has developed beyond all expectations. A non-profit organisation, the club has been an influential driver in the growth of regional motorsport for more than five decades. Club chairman Mark Hamilton reflects on the event's success. Yeah, I mean, as you know, rallying is a free sport in Barbados. There's no cover charge, uh, which has been part of its great success. Um, it is a bit of a double-edged sword because as it becomes more successful, more people enjoy it. It's gone past now just the die-hard motorsport fan coming to watch. It's now become a social event. Uh, so we do have to take our responsibility as organizers more serious in terms of crowd control, safety, those type of things. Um, but I like to think that Barbadians on a whole are, you know, quite organized, quite disciplined, behave, you know, well on these circumstances. Uh, and, you know, so far, by and large, you know, we, we seem to be holding it together. Um, yeah, so I, I think it's, it's an event, you know, that's been building on, on that basis. People can, can pack their coolers, bring their kids, you know, park in the corner uh, and enjoy a day's activities. I think that this is a mammoth achievement for the organizers and I must give credit where credit is due because usually people come to the government and want every last end tied off by government. This level of organization has come thus far through persons who are essentially private citizens who have gotten together, are banded together to do what they have to do for their country and for their organization and I commend them for that. I think that it has been extremely well organized. I have observed some of the committees that have been put to work 
And I must say that it is, a, you know, a tremendous achievement. And kudos must go to the organizers of Soul Rally 2013. A few weeks before this year's event, the Soul Group agreed a further three-year title sponsorship deal, carrying its involvement through to at least 2016. Marketing and Communications Coordinator Gina Cummins explains why. Every year after each event, we just meet to try to make the event better and better. We take on the feedback from our fans and from general public. And what we found so far is that every year when we speak to the spectators, we're able to put back that, that input into our planning and go again. And I think this year, as the results have been seen, this is the best Saw Rally Barbados since our involvement in the activity. In 2014, the Barbados Rally Club will mark the 25th running of its Blue Ribbon event. Organiser and title sponsor have already started work on plans to once again earn the accolade, the best Sol Rally Barbados yet.